Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario on Nintendo 64. In the last one, we finally got through our introductions, our prologues, got the fire flower now, made our way through Goompa Village, Bowser whooped our ass pretty intensely, I'll tell you that, and then from there, uh, we fell off from Pinch's Peach's Castle. Heads up, Mario, I see bad Goombas ahead. They're loyal to Bowser. If they see you, they'll attack you without hesitation. If you can successfully attack an enemy in the field with a jump or hammer, you'll get the first strike when you enter the battle. Striking first really helps when it comes to battling. But yeah, Bowser whipped our ass because he stole the Star Rod from Star Haven. It belonged to Kirby, but I guess it's now on loan to Bowser. Smack this uh, Goomba here. We're just going to show off a bit. A couple of these uh, Goomba fights here. This is a Spike Goomba. See the spike on his head? Be careful not to jump on him. You'll definitely get hurt. Yeah, you definitely don't want to do that. So we're just going to hammer him. Goombas in the beginning of the game are really simple. 2 HP. As long as you get the first strike on them, I think you're good to go with 3 star points. So that takes care of a spike Goomba. Get some stuff after the battle. Just go on to a regular Goomba now. Can't do much yet in terms of, like, commands or anything of the sort, but there is an item that you will get later that will help out with that. So I was a regular Goomba. There's also another Goomba that is a uh, hyper, uh, pair, has also a pair of Goomba, which is this guy right here. I'm going to show off uh, battles for enemies that haven't been shown off. Listen up, Mario. The enemy's flying. Your hammer won't reach enemies in the air. To attack airborne enemies, use a jump attack. You can jump over one enemy and attack the one behind it, too. This is good advice. Remember it. So just using our jump attack again, you can, as long as you're in midair, you can attack any one of them with your jumps. Yeah, I'm gonna show off. Uh, I'm gonna show off any battles for enemies that had not been shown off in the battle yet. But in case of repeat battles of enemies that we've already seen, I'm just gonna cut the battles, obviously, to save time uh, in regards to that. So we'll just go ahead and keep things moving, shaking the bacon here. Oh, there's one more item. Actually, I forgot from over here that we need to get. Uh, there is an item that you, uh, for things that you can collect throughout the game, and it involves this little shiny thing here. Star piece. It's a glowing star piece. Wait and see what this is for. You're going to want to collect those throughout your adventure because they could lead to some nice goodies later on. Uh, once you figure, once we get to that portion of the game, or once I start, once I show off that portion of what it's used for. Never worry, kids. Here I am. Thanks to young Mario here, I made it back all right. Oh, is that thing locked? Let me open it up for you. Goomba, where have you been? I looked outside and wow, both you and the veranda was just plain gone. Goomba, I was very, very worried about you. Really worried. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, before I forget, I decided to give you something, Mario. Wait here a minute. And it kills a throat. Huh? Hey, that doll you got. That's the one Gumbario lost. She was looking all over for it. Would you give it back to her? Nah, yeah, we'll be nice. It's my dolly! Dolly, dolly, you're back! Thank you so much. Our princess is in another castle. I'm so happy. My sweet dolly. Don't you ever get lost again. Here's a present for me. Look at the pretty glitter. Another star piece. And take this, too. You always seem to beat up your enemies. Do you work out? I study self-defense by reading books by the masters and listening to Dad and Goompa. And I also exercise every day so I can be strong like you. It's starting to show, too. I'm getting big muscles. Yeah, Gumbario's head is hard as a rock now, T. When he does his head bonking, it really, really hurts. 
Oh, be quiet, Gumbaria. You're embarrassing me. Of course, it is true. Sorry to have kept you waiting, Mario. It's okay, Goomba. We're just rapping with Mario. Oh, rapping, huh? Sorry. I wanted to give this to Mario. Power Jump Badge. Mario stomps on a single enemy using a lot of attack power. This is called a badge. If you wear this, you'll be able to do a power jump, which means you'll be able to do a lot more damage with your jump attack. But listen here and listen well. You'll only be able to do it if you're wearing the badge. You better try first. Putting badges on and taking them off is a vital skill. Would you like a quick lesson on how to use the badges you collect during your travels? First, take the Let's Play. We're just going to go ahead and get this going. Press start, the menu will open. Here's how you put on a take off badges. Use the control stick to point at the badge tab. One thing I don't like about the Nintendo Switch online service, this shit sucks. No, like the you can tell the frame rate and the drops and everything like that. This was this is exclusive, I think exclusively NSO, and I know probably it was a lot worse when it first came out. And just like even with like patches or something like that, you can still see some of the performance issues. The Wii U version ran better than this. Anyway, that was my rant. Press the A button to enter the badge screen. Got that. Press the A button again to go to the list of all badges. Wearing badges often take badge points. This one takes one BP, so we're going to put that on. Press the A button again to take it off. So we have three uh, badge points total. There we go. Now remember, you need FP to use this power jump technique. Do you remember that we saw a block like this on the way back to the village? That hard block at the end of the last episode? Well, these blocks will not restore only HP, but also FP. They're lifesaver, Mario. Use them whenever your HP and FP reserves are getting low. Bye bye, Mario. I heard from Goomba. You're taking it upon yourself to try to rescue the princess from Bowser's clutches. Oh, yeah. Mario can be Bowser with one hand tied behind his back. Hush now, Gumbario. Please take this hammer. It should serve you well. If I were a bit, just a bit younger, I'd accompany you on your trip. I've done some damage. The years have started to weigh on me, though. I tell you, there's lower back pain. And god damn, is he not kidding. Adventure! You're so lucky. Princess rescuing is so cool. I really want to be an adventurer, too, someday. Me too. Oh, here's an idea. Gumbario. Perhaps the timing is perfect. You are no longer a child and evil times are upon us. I'm sure Mario will agree. You should sac be sacrificed. I'm mean, sure you should accompany Mario. What? Really? May I go, Goomba? May I really go? Yes. Oh, yeah. Mario. You won't regret this. And Gumbario has joined the party. Press C button down to have him tell you about people, places, things nearby, nouns, verbs, adverbs. When you're interested, just ask him. Gumbario is also helpful during battles. He can attack with headbonk, and he can tell you about an enemy's feature and HP using his tattle ability. Way to go, Way to go, Gumbario! Mario, I know Goombario will prove to be a worthy com- I don't even know what the fuck I'm voicing anymore. Well, about think about time for a nap. I'll be in the house. Goodbyes have a way of making this old Goomba get weepy. And I'll we'll get back in. This is so cool, Mario. Let's go. But wait, your HP looks a little low. Maybe I'll take a rest of the Toad House. Yeah, I do what I want. Okay, you're right. I'll just take a quick nap. Quick nap, Toad House. It's free. 9,000 near a door, though. That takes... I think you have to buy... You have to pay certain coinage for that. But in the original Paper Mario, it's free. Take care now. Yep. You too. We're out of here. Let's put that uh, badge back on so we can do that. Uses 2 FP. 
basically it adds two to your jump power and we hit this tree right here we get a goom nut special nut found only in the goomba village which restores three fp which is nice so now we got the hammer we can break this there we go problem solved i have a feeling your road will be lined with difficulty so try not to overdo it be watchful yet stay cool a calm mind is the wisest thanks for that sir i do appreciate we got this beware goombas uh-oh hey mario during a battle you can change the order we attack in with z i can attack first if you want i don't mind at all just keep it in mind okay so now that we got that whoop destroy that goomba real quick and now we can use our partner here he can use head bonk to head bonk an enemy or he can tattle see enemy descriptions to make hp visible this is a goomba goombas are what you call small fries actually they're pretty much the smallest fries hey wait i'm one of them max hp two attack one defense zero we can jump on them or whack them with the hammer these guys are old school they've been around since you were in super mario brothers almost 40 years coming up to that take care of that you can see the hp bar on the bottom now if you want to see their opponent's hp you have to tattle with uh Gumbario on every single enemy or you can actually uh, get a badge later on that can help you with that as well all right so that clears that section of goombas there some coinage para goomba coming up Beautiful, okay, so we're just gonna continue on the pathway here. Spikes, watch out for the spikes. You can't uh, headbutt or goom, or, I mean, whatever. Close call badge when Mario's in danger. Sometimes, uh, enemies sometimes fail to attack. Eat a mushroom to gain your energy when HP gets low. Eat a mushroom with this. There we go. Actually, you know what? We're gonna clear out the enemies real Alrighty then. Okay, you know what? That's fine. We're not going to worry about him for now. So let's go ahead and hit this block real quick. Restore everything. Hey, hey. Hold it right there. You. Yeah, you. Suspicious guy. Don't move. Aha. Yeah, Mario. I knew it. You can't go past here, Mr. Big Shot. It's a direct order from the Goomba King. That's right. I'm sorry, but the only way by is through the Goomba Brothers. That's me, Red Goomba, and my brother, Blue Goomba. Let's get him, Blue Goomba. Oh yeah, let's do it, my Red Brother. Mini boss time, you got the Goomba Brothers. We got the Blue Goomba here, who is a Blue Goomba. The younger of the two, match HP of six, attack one, no defense. So a little bit weaker than the brother here. So let's go ahead and take care of hit the red Goomba here real quick. Mario, how'd you like some of this? Only hits for one, nothing too terrible. Let's power jump him. Hit him for three. Red Goomba, older HP of seven. Okay, so this has seven. This guy has four. Let's go ahead and hit him. There we go for three. Beautiful. Now, here's the thing. When you destroy one of them, you get a little bit of a cutscene. It's like, oh my god, you killed my brother, now I'm going to attack you. But if you want to save some time, 
when they're both at 3 HP or below, use a Fire Flower to destroy them at the same time. And there you go. Yeah! I, I'll i let you go for now. Aw, oh, they're running away like little babies. Okay, let's go ahead and refill our health real quick. Beautiful. 24 star points away from level up, so we should be getting there relatively soon. Hit this block to save your game progress, of course. Save block. Just go ahead and save. You'll want to save, and you'll want to save often, because you never know what can creep up on you in this game. Eat a mushroom to regain your energy. Psych! It's a Goomba. Goomba King's Fortress ahead. Sweet. King Goomba, help us! Mario beat us up! Hey, look, Mario. See that building over there? I'm pretty sure there used to be a bridge on your side. I wonder what happened to it. So, Mario, it's true. You've made it this far. I respect you for that. Unfortunately, this is as far as you'll ever get. Because I, the great and powerful King Goomba, will see to it that you advance no farther. You hear that, Mario? No farther. Not one step. Are you scared, little man? <laughs> yeah, you're scared, all right. You want to say you're sorry? Wow, that King Goomba is really huge. I'm sure he's no match for you, though, Mario. Let's get him. Ready to meet my wrath, Mario? You'd better be! With the Derpy Goomba King! Beat him up, King Goomba! We've got your back! Leave him to me! Hey, Mario! I think we ought to take out the Goomba Burst fo first, don't you think? They must be pretty weak since we just finished beating them up back there. And how you start off the battles by doing such a thing by hitting the Goom Nut Tree with your hammer. It basically does three damage to the Goomba King and the Goomba Brothers behind them, which immediately takes them out. So let's tattle on the Goomba King. He's really big. I mean, look at him. Looks really powerful. However, max HP of 10, attack 1, no defense. So basically, he's just a buffed up Goomba. Unless he does that. Mm, that hits for two. But you know what? We have some jump power here. So we're going to smack him with one of those. Smack with one of these. He's going to come and do a physical. With his footsies. Another power jump. And it takes care of him. And our first level up of the game. We can choose to increase our HP, FP, or our badge points. Uh, since we already have 10 HP, I, I like to go in order for a bit. Start off with the FP there. W w what? How could I lose? Yeah, I knew we could do it. Cool. Victory. Victory. All right. Should be a star. Yep, there we go. Star piece here. Now, let's go ahead and talk to uh, this real quick. Red Goomba, you positive that you hit the switch well, right? Of course, King Goomba. I hid in the grass outside the fortress. Outside the... You idiot! You didn't hide it in here? Mario will find it for sure. Oh, do you think? You know, you may be right. King Goomba, maybe we ought to try to trick Mario before he tries to... You mean this is switch over here? Uh, Mario, good fight and all that, I must warn you, however. 
If you happen to find a strange switch somewhere, you should definitely not press it. It's dangerous. Understand? You what? You already pressed it! Oh no! Look! The bridge! Now we can cross and continue on our journey! Alright! And there you go. Let's go ahead and check on... Is there, there's nothing over here on this tree, right? No, just a coin. There we go. It's down here. So we want to grab this item here. Super Shroom! Basically, at this point, it is considered a full heal. Full health restore. Mighty King Bowser, I've been looking for you. A report you're leaving us. Mario defeated the Goomba King. He's headed for Toad Town now. What? Unbelievable. What was Goomba King thinking? I used to start around to make him a king because he begged me. And Mario whoops him so easily? What a wimp. Uh, Kami Koopa, you are sure that Mario can never defeat us, right? Please, please, your valentine is trying to be calm. Goomba King is small time. I'd had a feeling he'd fail. It doesn't matter because while you hold the star rod, you are definitely invincible. You could be Mario with one claw tied behind your back. Yes, yes, very good. <laughs> By the way, Kami Koopa, those star spirits we captured don't have any way of giving Mario their power, do they? Please, don't worry yourself. Each is held separately. Batteries not included. And each is carefully guarded by your hand-picked subjects. Even Mario can't save all seven of the star spirits. Hmm. Who's the closest star spirit to Mario? It's that one at Koopa's brother's fortress, right? If Mario somehow reaches there, can the Koopa brothers defeat him? King Bowser, you mustn't worry. Here comes the Cooper Brothers! Uh-huh. Oh yeah. We're the coolest of cool. Psst. Kami Koopa. Are you sure these guys can get the job done? That Goomba King was gigantic and even he couldn't beat Mario. Pshaw! Get real, King Bowser. Yeah, the Goomba King was huge, but he was a total Wimbola. Or nothing like him. See, what we got going is the power of teamwork. Together, we can put the hurt on Mario in seconds flat. Excellent, that's the spirit. Sell it, Koopa Bros. Show our king that special attack you do so well. Yes, ma'am. Ready, everybody? Oh, oh. Oh, that, this is, oh. I think he just came. How'd you like it, King Bowser? How was it? <laughs> uh, 7 out of 10. Oh yeah, excellent, really. I'm not easily impressed either. Wow, a blue car! Mario will have a chance to finish him with that attack. We'll take him, King Bowser. Uh, by the way, my Koopa bros. About the captured Star Spirit I've locked up in your fortress. Who's guarding him right now? Nobody, sir. You see, we're here, and so... You idiots. Use your heads. Get back to the fortress and guard that star spirit. Ooh. 
Good lord. Alrighty, so we're here. Beautiful, let's get to no question mark block. Sleepy sheep. If it works, makes all enemies sleep for a little while. I don't like this item because it doesn't really do a whole lot for me, but we're going to save this one because that's going to be useful for a side quest later on. Let's go ahead and grab this up here. Hammer throw badge. Hits one enemy with a hammer, no matter where the enemy is. This becomes very useful later on for certain enemies that hang on to the ceiling that not even a jump can reach. Morio. I'm so glad you're okay. The town is in an uproar. The prince is kidnapped. The very castle uprooted. It's Bedlam. I really don't know what we can do about all this. Please, Mario. Save her highness. I almost said her hiney. Alright. So here we are in Toad Town here. And if we actually go back down this pipe, we actually head back to Mario's house. So let's go ahead and pay a visit to our brother real quick. I wonder what my brother Mario is doing right now. Whoa, Mario, it's you. Good to see you. And you're all right. After all that castle craziness, I was really worried about you. I ran outside just as the earthquake started, so I managed to escape in time. Oh, and who are you? I'm Gamario. Nice to meet you. I see. Great. Just great. You're on an exciting adventure with Mario. Talk about unfair. See, someone has to look after this house, so I can't leave. Oh, wait. Take care of Mario, okay? Poor bastard. Always playing second fiddle to the adventures. Even when he had his own solo games. It's not to rescue a princess. It's to rescue his brother. He gets shafted a lot. Anyways, we're in Mario's house, a uh, horse, horse, house, horse. Uh, but uh, you can ch check on this here. This will give you Mario stats. Right now, 37 coins earned. Three out of 80 badges been collected. Three out of 160 star pieces have been collected. Number of battles with seven first strikes. Some uh, statistics we haven't unlocked yet. But we go to the back room here. We got ourselves a mailbox. We got ourselves a bed. Where letters rest Mario go. It's empty right now. Still at peak strength. Do you want to go to bed? No. But with certain items that we gain later in the venture, we can actually come back here later and find some more stuff as well. But that's going to be for a later time. But that's going to do it for the tour of Mario's home here. And here we are in the heart of Toad Town, ready to go to Shooting Star Summit, which we will do in the next one. Until then, do like to thank you guys for watching. Hope you have yourselves a fantabulous day. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Good night.